don't want to die! Silence! Your words are meaningless here. Your blood will pay the debt our king demands. Your sacrifice will lift his curse from our land. General Bellato! Forgive me, my lord. The king demands your urgent presence. The gods smile on you. For now. Take this one back to his cell. I'll deal with him later. You're in luck, Gutian. Luck? No. No luck for these dogs. General, we should leave this place. The king, his madness threatens to swallow us all. This temple is cursed. I'd rather die in this cursed house than perish to the plague and famine out there. We have our orders, Captain. The Moon God sent you to destroy my kingdom. I know it, girl. I see everything. Look around you. Is this hall not famous enough for my mistakes? Do the gods not bask in its glory? The Gutians are coming, General. The Moon God sends an army to destroy us. I shall muster our forces immediately. Good. And what news from below? There are hundreds of prisoners, my king. Their sacrifice will take time. Time is no longer in our hands. No matter. The blood of this army will nourish the sands. The sacrifice will be fulfilled. Starting with this one. Tell me, General. Does she remind you of anyone? My king? Do you not see a hint of your own daughter in her? What age would she have been now? Eighteen. Eighteen? Hmm. What a tragedy this plague has been. Kill her. My king? Would it not be wise to keep the girl alive? She's an enemy scout. We could learn the Gutian's plans. No. Every drop of blood brings us closer to salvation. She must die. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 
Give me strength. temple at the pool. He builds this temple to call for forgiveness. But the gods don't listen. And now he too is silent. Even my daughter's death couldn't wake me to the truth. I followed a fool into the abyss. Don't let his ruin become ours. This is your temple. What can we do? There is a way out through the catacombs. You think I should trust you? You have no choice. I found you! You Arcadians were strong. Seems this curse has made infants of you all. Follow me. There is a way out through this tomb. Tomb? Yes. For the builders when they're done. Come.
just a rat. All this death for nothing. They died in vain for a mad king. Why did your king raid the temples? Same story that history has taught us. For gold. For glory. For greed. Me with this. <sighs> you first. We're safe down here. You first. What is this that adorns you? The history of Gutiam. You Arcadians fought hard to destroy our people. But mark my words, our story has just begun. How do we get out of here alive? The enemy of my enemy... ...is a friend. We help each other. Always hope. What was that? How many ways into this tomb? We're not alone down here. Over here. No escape. Our only hope is to stand together. No! If we both run, then we both die. Ready your sword!
depends on the choices you make. They will be as a compass guiding you through the unknown. Will you find the path to salvation or be lost in the darkness forever? Let me speak plainly. You're about to make some difficult decisions. Decisions that will affect the lives of others. How those decisions play out will become clear over time. It's good to see you again. You're probably keen to get started. Let us not dally any longer. As you are aware, I am the curator, the custodian of tales. My purpose is to keep a record of everything you do, every decision or mistake you make. This is my repository. It is filled with untold stories. Stories about friends and enemies, loyalty and betrayal, life and death. Understand that I am not here to help you. Although I have been known to bend the rules from time to time. To descend into the unknown alone is extremely brave. Or extremely foolish. Perhaps there is more to you than meets the eye. Let me give you a few words of advice. Throughout the story, you will encounter certain pictures Pictures which allude to possible outcomes. I suggest you pay attention to their meaning. It could foreshadow a future best avoided. But alas, the sands of time have run out for us. We'll meet again soon to see how you fail or fail.
Not particularly. Welcome to Camp Slayer. You're early. Apologies for arriving early, Lieutenant. Things are moving fast. I hear you, Colonel. We're glad to have you on board. Techs are ready for your presentation. As soon as we get word from the CEO, we're good to go. You should read this. Can you hear? There's a new king in the castle. Looks that way. You are? This is my assistant, Clarice Stokes. Dr. Clarice Stokes. Kolchak. First Lieutenant Kolchak. Well, wow. the briefing room? What's up, Maureen? Can't you keep up? This could be our last time together, Rachel. After what happened at the checkpoint, uh, I thought I was done. These last few weeks, you've, you've lifted me up. I don't know where I'd be without you. Rachel King? Colonel King has arrived on base, ma'am. He's en route to the briefing room. I'll be there in five. Fuck, it's him. He's early. Your husband, you mean? Don't you think it's about time you came clean? Put your clothes back on. Straighten up. All right, Rachel. Are you gonna tell him about us or what? You and Eric have been apart for a year. Whatever you had, it, it's gotta be over. Come on. We should put this on ice. On ice? Just like that? So what, we just, we just stop? Is that how it works? That's exactly how it works. If my husband is here. For crying out loud, Nick, how else do you think it works? From now on, we just, just have to keep a little distance. Sounds like an order, ma'am. Say no more. I get it. To excuse the noise and disorder. We're just getting the base set up. Hmm. Blows my mind. Only a few weeks ago, Saddam was living it up in here, <laughs> chowing down in candy bars while some poor bastard clipped his toenails. Nice image. Wow. If only you could see the state of this place now. Makes me smile. <laughs> we got the CIA. We got the Army, the Marines, DIA, the Air Force. Hey, everyone's invited. Everyone wants a piece of history. God bless America. I see you, old man. Keep busting out those reps. Hey, you come join me. Maybe I'll teach you a thing or two. Later. We have company. Well, if you miss here would like to watch me get my sweat on. Huh? Wanna spot me, little lady? I see you just fine from here, thanks. Ignore Corporal Merwin, he likes social skills. Uh, I guess every unit has its resident jackass. Sergeant K. This is Lieutenant Colonel Kane. Just taking him down to the briefing room. Yeah, gotta go get prepped. I'll see you in there, Marine. So what's his malfunction? Nick ain't been himself lately. 
We got caught up in a shooting a few weeks back. Civilian ate a bullet, and they took it hard. Is he combat ready? He's a big boy, sir. He's ready. Damn, Joey, they got you sitting behind a desk? You want me to make a call? Nah, I'm all good. People who sit behind desks don't tend to catch so many bullets, you know? So this must be uh, the one and only satellite guy. <laughs> the one and only satellite guy. I'm Eric King, Lieutenant Colonel Eric King. Give the Colonel full sight access. Sir. I'm telling you, when the queen bitch finds out about this, she's gonna flip her shit. Rachel and I, we know each other. She'll understand all's fair in love and war. Sir? The queen bitch you're referring to is his wife. Nice work, Hotshot. Sir, I'm so sorry. Rachel never said she was married. We've been working apart this last year. So, she's the queen bitch now. She's gone up in the world. If it helps, we like to think of it as a term of endearment. Brett, let's get you set up. I hope the bandwidth can cope with the data. I'll leave the techie stuff to you. And I'll leave the heavy lifting to you. Well, we got a deal, lady. What is this place, anyway? Looks like an old ballroom. Uh, that's exactly what it is. I guess Shaddam liked to get down on the dance floor. I think if his dance partner stepped on his foot, it'd be an instant off with her head. <laughs> uh, it wouldn't surprise me. Maybe when we're done, I'll let you spin me around a little. As long as you don't step on my foot. Colonel King. Mrs. King. Eric, this is my team. And if you want to brief them, you clear it with me first. I should have warned you I was moving the briefing forward. That's on me. But things escalated, I had to move fast. I have a duty to my team to stay ahead of the curve. I understand, Rachel, but CENTCOM has given their orders. Orders? I'm now commanding officer. I didn't mean for you to find out like this. Truly. I'm sorry, Rach. Somehow I doubt that very much. This is from Sock Central. It confirms that Lieutenant Colonel King has assumed control of this operation. I'm gonna need access to your network. I'll patch you through. Name? Dr. Stokes. You can call me Clarice. Dr. Stokes, please prepare the presentation. You found something? What the fuck is that? Modern art or something? This is footage from the highly classified Kalis program. That's supposed to mean something to me. It's a thermal satellite system that I personally pioneered. Oh, well, I'm impressed. Please, pioneer away. You behave like this in all your briefings, Corporal? Boys are just eager to catch a break, sir. No harm meant. Very well. 
Satellite sweeps of the war zone have uncovered what appears to be an underground storage facility. This will, of course, require further investigation, but I strongly suspect it's where Saddam's chemical weapons are hidden. We got you, you son of a bitch. CENTCOM has given the green light to raid the facility and seize any weapons on site. Hostilities may be over, but there are holdout groups of Republican Guard all over the country. They could deploy those weapons at any time, so we need to move fast. The Army is giving us a ride out there on their helos. On arrival, Lieutenant Kolchak will lead the raid on the facility. Once it's secured, we'll carry out a full weapons inspection. Now listen up. There's been a change of leadership, but Rachel's operational expertise and local knowledge is just as valuable as ever. She'll be flying with us, and I want you all to show her the same respect. Any questions? What the fuck we waiting for? I'm ready. That's tribal territory out there, Colonel. Make no mistake, those people are feral. I take it we're getting their support? Nah, too many birds could bring them down on us. We move fast in, fast out. Yeah, that's pretty much what your mama said to me. Hey, careful, boy. If I didn't pull out so fast, it could have been your papi. <laughs> All right, that's enough, Merwin. Sir, what's your call? I'll put in a request for air support to be on standby. Our birds can fly low under the radar. The site is in the Zagros Mountains, so we'll have plenty of ground cover. We go dark until weapons are secured. If we don't break radio sounds within 24 hours, CENTCOM will mount a rescue operation. A lot of shit can go down in 24 hours. I'll quit being a bitch. I'm just saying, that's all. This is why we went to war. This is what gets us out of bed every morning. Make no mistake, ladies and gentlemen, this is how we stop Saddam from using these weapons. Be ready in one hour. Dismissed. Clarice, help me stop the equipment. I'm on it. I don't know, man. This don't feel right. I'm getting this tingle down the back of my neck. Oh, sweetie, look. Good rub down, we'll sort that right out, huh? I'm serious. I got a real bad feeling about this. That's what you get from spending too much time with Eric. Is there anything you can do? I'm gonna download the latest satellite data. You can have some alone time with him. Thank you, Clarice. I have concerns. Well? This team barely know each other, and you're thinking about sending them 500 clicks into bandit country. It's too soon. They're not even remotely close to being ready. If I'm not mistaken, they're forced recon. It's their job to be ready. We don't have time to rework this. This is what's going to get us home, Rachel. I wish you'd reconsider. No. My decision is final. You should know. It wasn't my decision to take over your operation. Rach. This is it. Everything I've worked on these past years. It's ready. This is the big break we've been waiting for. This isn't about us, Eric. I just want things to go back to the way they were. How we left it, things weren't so great between us. We've been through worse. A lot worse. Look, Eric, we'll talk when we have time. But not here. Not like this. You're still wearing your wedding ring. <clears throat> hey! Be careful with that. Oh shit, sorry. What you got in that box of tricks anyway? What the fuck is that? Ultraviolet light. We use it to sweep for explosives. Let me have a go. No. How much longer for that download, Clarice? I need it ASAP. It's five minutes ASAP enough for you? Downloading data now. Good. I'll check the satellite maps. 
Not the greatest bandwidth. We work with what we have. Can you sign this 1348? Huh? Equipment release form. Can you? Oh, sure. Check all equipment, then check it again. Yeah, I hear you. What the hell do we need this crap for? We need to be mobile. We need to be prepared. The facility is underground, possibly under construction. It's safer this way. You want me to feel safe? You give me some more shooters. So, you're my technician. I've heard about you. I should fucking hope so. I'm here to keep our gear in check. And if any Iraqis pop their heads up, I'll take them clean fucking off. You seem pretty confident, Corporal. If you need any assistance with the climbing gear, I'm here to help. Sure, I'll manage, Colonel. Climbing gear. Fucking pencil pusher. Think we'll bag Chemical Ali at this facility? If he's in the vicinity, we'll get him. <laughs> that almost makes it worth the risk. Almost. Well, you know, I'd still rather be sitting behind a desk. If shit hits the fan, at least we can rely on air support to dig us out. I'm sure it won't come down to that. You seem confident. You seem surprised. Is this what I think it is? WP, sir. White phosphorus? It's just for popping smoke. That's all. These are only to be used for cover. Understood? Understood. After all, Saddam is the one who's breaking weapons conventions. Not us.
Download's complete. Let's get to the helos. What? What? You want to ask me something? I can tell by that look on your face. Who do you think I am? I take it you're talking about the skipper? He's a nice guy. Around here, nice don't cut it. What do you think of him? Like he's got something else on his mind? Zane, and a gate. Zane? Go ahead, Zoe. Zane, Tanny. Ah, but... Hello. Uh, hello, I'm Salim. Salim? Salim Garkun. Abu Zain. Of course. Did you forget? Yes, I forgot. He's Zain with... With... هو زين مع ابنك؟ طارق ايوه طارق هم مع بعض راحوا ياخدوا الاتوبيس بقالهم ساعة كله بخير؟ لا لا كله تمام اصله كان عيد ميلاده وانا جبت له هدية هدية كويسة اه لما يرجع ابعتهولي حالا ما اقدرش اقول امتى هيجوا انت عارف الولاد اي وقت ابعته لي لو سمحتي طبعا لا 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 يا ديني مش دلوقتي اوه كابتن بصري اهلا انا مو لازم لازم اتحرك على طول انت بتقول ايه سعادتك العدو جاي يا سليم 
العدو جاي علينا دلوقتي العدو يا فندم الحرب خلصت خلاص وخسرنا لا ده كلام فارغ محدش السل العدو جاي ودي ارضنا واحنا لازم نتعرب ليها شايفينهم مطلوب تاكيد يلا شوف جايين علينا بقول لك احنا محتاجين كل راجل في مكانه لاحسن دايرتهم توصل عندنا ما اقدرش اعمل ده يا فندم ابني محتاجني ده امر يا جندي مش طلب ده واجب عليك فهمت ارجع البيت قريب خلاص يا دار دي اخر مهمه Hey, only one place I let a woman boss me around like that. All right, and that's between the sheets. I'm surprised your mom lets women into your bedroom. Don't want her getting jealous now. Yeah, Rachel. <laughs> hey, the fuck y'all laughing at? Sergeant K, I need you to establish contact with the AWACS CP on four-hour intervals. <laughs> Sergeant K, are you with me? Yeah, I got it. Contact CP every four hours. Hey, you okay? Yeah, I'm straight. What's going on in there? Just some shit I gotta work through, man. It's all good. I'm chill. I got your back, Nikki. No matter what. I know it. Make sure you do. Semper Fi. Semper Fi. Semper Fi? What's that? Some kind of Boy Scout thing? It's a Marine thing. It means always loyal. So what? It's supposed to be lucky? Marines have a boatload of superstitions. Hit me with one. All right, check it out. They say to never look back when you're disembarking the Hilo. Otherwise, you curse the whole team. That's got to be about the stupidest thing I have ever heard. Yeah, well, maybe. But as I see it, why take a chance? Eyes forward at all times. You look backwards in a war zone. It's no wonder you get your ass shot off. We're good to go, Marines. This is what we were sent here to do, and may God be my witness. We're going to succeed. Amen to that, brother. Hoorah! 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 الخنازير بيطيروا هيهبط قالوا نفسكم يا Oh, 
الامريكان العساكر الامريكان جم sir we've been made awaiting orders Ben out and hold fire we're gonna psyops this shit احنا الجيش الامريكاني Compound is secure. Prisoners are playing ball. Roger. Get Corporal Murrow and the pop yellow smoke at the LC and bring in the Colonel. This rig's a bust. These people are not the enemy, they're just shepherds. Lieutenant Kolchak, sit rep if you will. No shots fired, sir. No casualties. Farm is secure and we're processing captives. Captives? Have you located an entrance to the underground silo? Negative, sir. If there is one, it's well camouflaged. If there is one. What does that mean, Lieutenant? We have yet to carry out a full search. We'll find it, sir. You took a risk giving up the element of surprise, Lieutenant. But it looks like it paid off. No casualties and clean work. Thank you, sir. Nonetheless, any holdout Iraqis might now be on high alert. My team's ready for anything, Colonel. That went smoothly. You think? Got the place locked down tighter than a virgin. Do not finish that sentence, Corporal. Are they ready for questioning? Yeah, just don't ask them any tough physics questions. Let's go. Stay sharp. If anyone so much as raises an eyebrow, I want to know about it. Copy that. I don't know about you guys, but something doesn't feel right about this place. Oh, yeah? So is that this, uh, women's intuition I keep hearing about? Yeah, you want to find out what happens when you piss it off? Stay still. I'm just gonna pat you down. السلام عليكم يا أخي لازم أسأل السؤال ولازم تقول الحقيقة فين مدخل مخزن السلام I'll make him talk Stand by I've got this هسألك مرة ثانية فين مكان المخزن What the hell is that? Some kind of effigy. Possibly pagan. Ada. Had to arrive for you. What the fuck? Into camp, Hina. enough of this. Corporal, keep an eye on the captives. You heard him, Marine.
Tell me where the silo is. This man was armed, ma'am. Everyone in this country is armed. Do that again, and I'll tear you up into pieces and feed you to the fucking jackals. Are there any more captives? Yeah, in the other hood. Follow me. أنا راجع حاليا وبعدين هتتكلم. Keep a firm eye on this one. Watch your marines to search the whole farm. I mean every inch of it. Look under every bed, shed, and outhouse. The entrance to the silo is close by. Go find it. There is shit here. You got something to say, Sergeant? Look at the ground. What do you see? Jack shit. There was a silo. Where's all the tracks? Nah. Man, this is a fishing expedition. His precious Kalis has got it all wrong. We follow orders, Sergeant. The search is far from over. Aye, sir. Got some gas masks here. That's heroin. Just keeps getting better by the minute. These people are nothing but common crooks. What the fuck was Eric thinking? I want this place turned inside out. Fuck 
buckets are dug in like ticks. They're closing in. We gotta get the door. Yeah, fuck you too. Burn fuckers out with WB. You can't use phosphorus against people. Oh, come on, you rather us hold hands and sing kumbaya around the fucking campfire? Shut the fuck up for a second and let me think. What's you think about, huh? We're getting massacred. Permission to use WB. Negative. Only use it for smoke. I'm gonna flank him. Give me some cover and get Joey out of there. Dying, Nick. Bullshit. Ah. I know you're hurting, but you're not fucking dying. <coughs> well, still, calm down. Your flesh when it's a paper cut. Just hold still. I. Say it, pray, Signs. This is dropkick. Silence lifted. Can someone give me a sit rep on the contact? Over. Dropkick, this is Killjoy 2. We are under fire and going down. Targets have advanced into the LZ. <sighs> this getting any worse? Get down on the floor, I swear I'll put a fucking hole through you. Fuck! Doesn't anyone speak English anymore? You better not miss. Jason! Jason! I'm close, man! I'm coming!
You gotta be fucking kidding me. That's something. Where on God's green earth have we landed? We need to get back topside, regroup with the rest of the squad, and signal for medivac. This place ain't no weapon silo, but it's sure as fuck crawling with Iraqis. Nick? Sergeant Kate, pull yourself together. Eyes wide. I saw something. What do you mean, saw something? I mean, it wasn't human. In a tunnel. <sighs> Should have never gotten off that helo. I fucking knew it. I knew you weren't ready for this. I swear to God, do not get God involved in this bullshit. Now, I don't want to hear another fucking word. You pull your shit together right fucking now before you get us both killed. You gotta believe me. No, you believe this, Sergeant. You didn't see shit. Something's not right. I know you can feel it. The only thing I'm feeling is that I got my work cut out with you. You ever seen anything like this? What the hell is this place? I flunked history at school. Tell me you don't feel it. What, Nick? Feel what exactly? thing is heavier than it looks. Give me a head. I'm gonna need some more muscle. He's skipping Jim again. <clears throat> That's Merle. Jesus, I'm mm. trying. Will you stop squirming around? He's bad. He's bleeding out. We have to cut him down right now. Hold tight, buddy. We got you. Nick, I need you here. Cut the wires. Oh, fuck. 
Oh, he's so fucked. You don't think I can hear you? You're gonna pull through, brother. Check it out. There's nothing in my pack. Grab it. I'm gonna pump you up, okay? Hurry the hell up! We got this. You keep lookout. Fuck! Lookout for what? Jesus, who the hell loaded these packs? What the fuck just happened? Maurice? Thank <laughs> you. 